Some people want more gifts from God. And there is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. For instance, some people want the gift of the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy, the gift of faith, the gifts of healings, the working of miracles, the discerning of spirits, different kinds of tongues, the interpretation of tongues. Some people, perhaps, they want them all. But what you have to understand, the more power that you receive from God, the more gifts that you receive from God, the higher the responsibility you will have. For instance, some people may want the gift of prophecy for themselves, as in they want it for entertainment purposes, like when God gives you gifts more power and stuff like that it is not only for you it is for you to help other people with what you have you can't just keep your gift and not share it among other people jesus christ came to earth as a servant but you want more power from God to entertain yourself more than using it for what it is meant to be used for. The more power that you receive from God, the more of a servant you are going to be to people. So if you are the type of person that you are not really a people's person or a person that don't really like to involve themselves with other people, then you should not really ask God for more power, for more gifts. Because they are not for you, per se. It is for you to help other people. Now, I was thinking about reading Matthew 25, 14 through 23 or 30. But, you know, to prove my point, what you can do, you can read this on your own. And when you read it, it is really going to make sense to you. But when you receive power or gifts from God, for instance, myself, I believe that I can teach some. I am not saying that I am this mega preacher or whatever else. I am not saying that. But what good is my teaching ability if I don't share it with other people? If I am not telling other people about God, what good is my teaching ability. My teaching ability, per se, is not only for myself, but it is for me to help other people with it. What you have from God is not for you, per se. It is for you to help other people with it. We are not here for ourselves. So when you pray to God asking him, for this and that and this and that, you better be ready because you, you are going to have to serve other people with it. I know for myself, now I talk with people and I pray with others and read the Bible with others as well, but I am not really asking for more power because I know that more responsibility comes with more power. And <laughs> I don't want this to sound bad. 
<laughs> As things are now, and I am not really, you know, I am not saying that I am teaching hundreds and thousands of people, but doing what I am doing now is challenging at times. So, and man, I forgot to say this. The more power that you that you receive, you have to know that the more powerful the demons are going to be too. Now, let's say that you first gave your life to God. Yes, you have a demon trying to get you back into sin. So whatever level that you are at in God at that time period, a certain level demon or demons are going to be trying to get you back into sin. So let's say that you elevate much more in God. Guess what? Now you have to deal with more powerful demons. And let's say that you are reaching for the sky. Hey, then you elevate much more in God. Guess what? More powerful demons are coming your way. So when you ask for more power, more gifts, not only you become a servant or more of a servant, but you will have to war much more with demons. And I am not saying this to discourage anyone. I am not saying this to make you afraid and stuff like that. Hey, that is just how things are. I believe that when many of us pray for things, we don't really take in an account of what can happen. <laughs> like, when it comes down to things of God, we see only the good side. But we don't really focus on the bad things that can happen. Like I said, if you want more power from God, hey, go ahead and ask him. But you have to be ready for it. God can give you power easily, but the question is, are you going to be willing or able to handle it? Like you see, now, all of these preachers on TV are not bad. Some may be bad. Yes, you may see them with nice homes, nice cars, you know, it may seem like they have a very nice life. But with the great power or the gifts that he gives to these people, you have no idea what is happening to them in their personal life. No idea. But you see the fame and uh, the money and stuff like that. Hey, I wish I was like that preacher. But you have no idea what they go through at night or like the demonic warfare and stuff like that. You have no idea. Be careful of what you pray for. Because if you see something really good, you better believe that it has a bad side to it. I pray that makes sense. When it comes down to things of God, something may seem really, really good. Like, hey, you know, I want to prophesy. You know, I want to see angels. I want to see heaven. I want to see this and this and that. But if you see heaven, you are going to have to see hell. If you see angels, you are going to have to see demons. If you get a lot of power from God, you better believe demons are going to be on your back. So, 
Are you willing to go that far? How far are you willing to go? You may want your name to be really big, but if God gives you that power, your responsibility is going to be so much. I pray this makes sense. Do you really want that? Where you are right now, you probably can't stand people, but you are asking God for so much when you can't even handle your mother or father. <laughs> How are you going to pastor a church? You are asking God to be a pastor when you can't even handle your co-workers. See, you are only looking at the good side, not the bad side. With me, you know, hey, I am just happy or I can be just happy with, you know, every so often talking to someone about God and for them to come to God. I am not looking for this fame and glory and honor and stuff like that because I know that that stuff comes with a price. To pastor people in the right way, that is more hard than anything else. Now, if you are doing it to just get money and stuff like that, well, that is one thing. And when you die, <laughs> you have to stand before God and take an account of what you have done. This is not a game. Think about what you pray for before you pray for it. When you ask God for things, especially with more power, there is a price to pay, per se, if that makes any sense to you. So, I pray that this makes sense. And like I said, I am not trying to discourage anyone. Believe me, if you want to work all day, every day for God, man, go right ahead. But you have to prepare yourself. I know myself, I can handle so much. <laughs> and when I get to that point, hey, <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> God bless.